entrance antiphon. We'll do the second one. Let us all rejoice in the Lord as we celebrate the feast day in honor of the Virgin Mary, at whose assumption the angels rejoice in the praise of the Son of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul, into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God in his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, now have salvation and power come and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed one. The word of the Lord. Thanks Our responsorial song. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. 
The queen takes her place at your right hand in gold of Ophir. The queen stands at your right hand arrayed in gold. Hear, O daughter, and see. Turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. The queen stands at your right hand arrayed in gold. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your lord. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. They are born in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. <clears throat> A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life. But each one in proper order. Christ, the first fruits. Then, at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end. When he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father. When he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. For he subjected everything under his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Mary is taken up to heaven. A chorus of angels exalts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judea, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me. For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Today we celebrate, of course, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It is a holy day of obligation. It's so good to see all of you here today. This is, of course, the celebration of the Virgin Mary's being taken up into heaven when her earthly life ended. 
divinely inspired sacred tradition, which is considered to be a part of the unwritten word of God because it existed and is believed since the time of the apostolic church, which is a reference to that period in between the first and second centuries when the apostles lived and before the second generation of Christians died. So it is, again, referred to as the apostolic church, that period. The dogma or religious doctrine of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary is certainly an example of sacred tradition from the apostolic church. And just as a word of explanation, again, dogma or doctrine uh, is used because there's no written history to prove or to reveal this truth. But the church teaches us this because of the divinely inspired sacred tradition of the, of the event. It should be noted that Pope Pius XII, as recently as 1950, in his papal document, and I need to look down and be sure I've got this right. Munif Munificentissimus Deus. That's a tough word to pronounce. But that was a papal document where he talked about this doctrine and he spoke of it as being true without question or doubt since the time of the apostles. Now that makes it something in our religious doctrine at this point. It's, it's one of the infallible teachings of the church, which means that it required the full and universal papal authority where does that come from? Since 325 AD, the Council of Nicaea, we've had 21 councils. Uh, the last one being between 1962 and 1965. Uh, you probably, most of you probably do remember that, the Vatican Council. Each of these councils produces documents and doctrine that <coughs> help explain certain things from the Bible. It gives us infallible teachings. It's a gathering of the bishops, cardinals, and the Pope. The Pope who oversees this. The church holds the belief that the Pope is infallible regarding moral and spiritual matters when he is in full agreement with the bishops of the church. Another infallible teaching is the Immaculate Conception. The Ecumenical Council, the General Council, is conven convened and always presided over and approved by the Pope. And he issues definitive decrees. So that's a little of the background about how we get certain doctrine in the church moved from, well, moved into historical documentation. Beyond all of this information about church doctrine and this, and it's called the Extraordinary Magisterium, beyond that and beyond the councils, the important aspect to remember for us is that Christ died and rose from the dead for us. 
and that his mother, Mary, made these things possible. She made Christ's entrance into the world, our world, as a person, as a man, through her total openness and acceptance of God. A remarkable, powerful thing that happened. And this speaks of something very important to all of us, for all of mankind. Since Christ <coughs> stepped onto the earth. We have this option of salvation available to us because of what Mary was able to bring herself to sacrifice. For what she did for us in allowing Christ to come into our lives. And for salvation, what do we have to do? The answer is pretty simple, and I think all of you know. It all revolves around love. Mary allowed God to have her do whatever needed to be done through her faith and love of God. Christ wants no more than love also. For him, for God above all things and for all of our neighbors. It's all about love. And the Blessed Virgin Mary, although she never met our beloved Saint Teresa of Calcutta, Their thoughts and beliefs were right in line, weren't they? Mary would have told us, just as the good sister, the good saint would have told us, to let nothing come between us and Jesus, Mary would have said, let nothing come between you and my son, between you and love. <coughs> Peace be with you. Now let us pray our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, born of the Father to all ages, God from God, the light from light, true God from true God, the God is not made. For our church, as we seek to show the world how to recognize God in the most unlikely places and people, let us pray to the Lord. Oh Lord, hear our prayers. 
for refugees risking their lives in storm-tossed boats and by other means as they seek relief and a new life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all whose lives are storm-tossed and who feel lost and at sea, that in Jesus they may find safety and security. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For inquirers and all who sincerely seek God in their lives, that they may find what they seek in our community of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from natural disasters, earthquakes, storms, floods, and for all who bring them assistance and relief, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for Dana Graham, for whom this Mass is being offered today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude today in honor of the Virgin Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at our death. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessing God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise of the Lord is in For our good and good of all the church. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts aflame with fire of love constantly long for you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For today the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your church's coming to perfection, and a sign of sure hope and comfort for your pilgrim people. Rightly you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall. 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the life of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, who may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. To await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say a word, and my soul shall be
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection. Through 
Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth glorifying the Lord by your life. And thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. <clears throat> Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of hell. May God give you the new and lovely pray. And may you, you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, God of truth and man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of your heart. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the consoler. Blessed be the great mother of God and Mary, most holy. Blessed be our holy and happy conception. Blessed be the Lord.